No, I never met your husband, but I must say he's charming on the phone. Oh, no. If only all the men in the community were as giving as Mr. Petrie. I mean to take time off from his television writing just to write a little bulletin for our bazaar. He is nice, isn't he? No. I, I mean, yes, but you see, Mrs. Harley, he hasn't written the bulletin yet. Oh? He's writing it today at the office. That's what he said. It'll be in the mail the first thing in the morning. I hope so, Mrs. Petrie. I would have written that bullet myself, only I was told your husband could write something a little more humorous. Oh, he certainly can. He will. He did. It'll be in the mail. We'll see. Good day, Mrs. Petrie. Uh, goodbye. May I speak to, to Robert Petrie, please? He's gone? Oh, dear. Well, are, are any of the other uh, writers there? Oh. Well, would you know if my husband wrote a bulletin for the PTA? Buzz? Oh, you wouldn't know. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> Rich. Guarding the garbage? How long have you been in there? Since cake and milk time? Well, son, I think you better find a place where there's more room to play. Come on out now, Ranger. Mommy, open the door, honey. You're gonna bust it down? Yep. I'm gonna count to three. One, two. Come on out, Rich. No. Well, how long are you gonna stay in there? Now I'm older than Roy and Freddy. Oh, Roy and Freddy again. What happened when they let you play with them? He said I'm too young for them. Oh, honey, Daddy says you're very smart for your age. What's he know? What do you mean, what's he know? <laughs> Daddy ever go to college? Well, no. That's why he don't know nothing good. What do you mean he don't know nothing good? Well, Freddie's father went to college, and Enos had to fix teeth. But, well, Daddy doesn't know how to fix teeth, but he knows how to write shows for television. He's very good at that. Then why does your show smell? Well, who said that? Roy's father. Well, Roy's father may know about motors and cars, but that doesn't make him a television expert. Why can't Daddy get a real job? Writing the Alan Sturdy show is a real job. Your father is a very important man. You see how Daddy types on the typewriter. Well, Roy's sister could type on the typewriter, and she's a skinny girl. And Daddy never plays baseball with me on Sunday like Roy's daddy. Daddy's show is on Sunday, and I always play baseball with you, don't I, Rich? Yeah, but you throw like a girl. That's because I used to be a girl. I knew it. I don't like my daddy. You throw like that. 
Why couldn't you marry Mickey Mantle? <laughs> because I love your daddy. Well, I love Mickey. Don't you love Mickey? <laughs> well, I'm fond of Mickey. You don't love Mickey Mantle! <laughs> Frenchie, I love Mickey Mantle more than anybody in the world. Who? <laughs> Child. How long have you and Mick felt this way about it? Mr. Slum decided I married the wrong man. Now, what's this all about, honey? We have to have a serious talk about you and your son. Oh, can we save that for after dinner, darling? I've had a hard day. <laughs> all right. Somebody using your broom closet? Give us a kiss. <laughs> I've had a hard day. Why is he in the closet again? He spent half of his six years in closets. You know, he's beginning to smell like a camphor ball. Troubled by Mark. Oh, honey, I get paid to write bad jokes. That's why the show smells. <laughs> what was that? You said a wrong thing. What wrong thing? Look, honey, it's almost six o'clock. He should be watching television. I should be eating dinner. Why is he locked in a closet? Because he's upset. If he got out of the closet, he wouldn't be so upset. That's what's upsetting him, being in a dark closet. You know why he's in there? Yes. Well, are you going to tell me? Robert, your son dislikes you. What are you saying? How can he dislike me? I'm his father. Some children have been known to hate their fathers. He's only six years old. He doesn't know me long enough to hate me. Richie, Richie, do you hate your daddy? Richie, do you hate your daddy? Richie, do you hate your daddy? Oh, come on now. Ask him. Richie, Richie, I want to ask you a question. I want a truthful answer. Do you like daddy? I don't like him! Being liked isn't as bad as being hated. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. Promise him an autographed photo of Mickey Mantle or something. You've given him three already. And I'll promise him a pony. You cannot rekindle his love with bribery. Well, I've got to do something. I've got to find out why my son suddenly dislikes me. I don't know. I'm universally well-liked. Everybody likes me. You like me, don't you? See? And you got great taste. <laughs> What's your kid's mind? Two best friends. Roy and Freddie? Spent a buck on them at the zoo the other day. I thought they liked me. They do, darling. Are you hungry? I think I lost my appetite. Haven't I been a good father to them? Well, what do you have to think about? <laughs> what well, a couple of little things. Name one. Will you never play baseball with him on Sunday? That's because my show happens to be on Sunday. The point is, darling, these boys are proud of what their fathers do for a living. <clears throat> what do you mean? He's not proud of me? Honey, every week, 30 million people enjoy things I wrote. All my relatives are proud of me. I'm proud of and me. And he will be, too, someday. But right now, he isn't quite sure of what you do for a living. He, he doesn't quite know what a writer is. He, he thinks all you can do is type with two fingers. 40 words a minute. You've got to do something to help him through this stage. Something to make him proud of you. What? Get a Zorro cape and jump off the garage? <laughs> Do you ever think of taking him down to where you work and letting him see the action? Now, what kind of an idea is that? Well, Rob, you are a head writer, which reminds me, did you write the bulletin for the PTA Bazaar? Yes, I did. And will you do me a favor, darling, and not volunteer my services as a bulletin writer for bazaars? Boss doesn't like to pay me for writing bazaar bulletins. For a very good cause. Not getting fired is a much better cause. And if your idea of taking Richie down to the office with me, I'll give you a simple two-word answer. N-O. You know you're a good-looking lady. Mwah! Don't you care if your son hates you? He doesn't hate me. He merely dislikes me intensely. <laughs> Bob, I honestly feel that if, if Richie could see how important you are to Alan Sturdy and the show, he'd be so impressed. I know I certainly was that day I saw you in action. Oh, I can't take a kid down to the office with me. Really? I mean, were you really impressed? I most certainly was. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, what, uh... What impressed you? Well, you were so commanding. And the way you spoke to that 
director or, or producer or whatever he was. He, he seemed so important, and you, you were so nasty to him. I, I've never seen him like that before. If you could impress me, you could certainly impress Rich. You're right. If I can impress a girl your age, I should be able to impress a six-year-old. <laughs> and you'll do it. He can drive to work with you in the morning. I don't think it's going to work. You mean you won't do it? Oh, I'll do it. Only because 95% of the time, you're right. Love to lower your average just a little. <laughs> room of the Allen Sturdy Show, three coffees, one black, no sugar, one dark with a pinch of sugar, and one very, very, very light like dark milk with five sugars. <laughs> That's right, five. Well, how do you think I feel? I have to watch him drink it. <laughs> oh, one prune Danish and uh, one jelly donut. And listen, will you check the jelly because Thursday you sent me an empty donut. <laughs> I haven't got time to listen to you flirt. Coffee. Bye. Say hello to you. Hello. Hello. See how it works. Why don't you wear shoes like people wear? You know, you waste more time polishing those Mary Jane. I polish shoes, you water weeds. That's the way of the world. These are not weeds. This is a philodendron, and this is an avocado plant. What plant? It's a giant pit. You're a pit once, too. Give it a chance to grow. Nobody gave me a chance to grow. You want my coffee? I ordered you a thing with five sugars. How can you drink that stuff? Five sugars? Ugh. I told you I have a fluctuating metabolism and a hyperactive thyroid. I need a lot of sugar. Oh, boy, do I need sugar. How did you manage to get so unhealthy in 23 years? I go to nightclubs. <laughs> Anybody here order Scott's emulsion? <laughs> we'll lead him for this week's show. Well, can you find it in you to say a normal, unfunny hello to my son, Rich? Are you sure he's in there? <laughs> hey, cute. Richie, this is one of our writers. This is Sally Rogers. Hi, Rich. I help your daddy write the Alan Sturdy Show. You want to add a sight, too? Not well, but I'm faster than your daddy. So is Roy's sister. Yeah, yeah, she's a girl. Here, Rich, this is it. This is daddy's office. See the typewriter? That's where daddy writes the show. And this is another one of our writers. This is... Buddy Sorrell, this is my son. Hello, Buster. Buster's my hamster. Swell. <laughs> uh, Rich here is going to help us write the show this week. Right, Rich? Mm -hmm. uh, Rich, go hang your hat and coat up over there. Okay, what gives, Rob? What's with the kid? Yeah, what's with the kid? Child, child. Please, now, as a personal favor, let him stay here. He has no idea how his father earns a living. And you want him to find out? Oh, my wife. I would have a very good idea for him to find out where the money for the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches come from. Look, he's a good kid. You won't even know he's here. Uh, Rich, Rich, uh, come sit over here. Sit here and you'll see how Daddy writes the Alan Sturdy show. You need them to help you, Daddy? Well, no, I don't. <laughs> yes, I do. I could write alone, but it's difficult to write a show alone every week. So you need them. Yes, I need them. <laughs> But I'm the main one. I I'm in charge. I'm like Casey Stengel. You understand? Yeah. Rob, can we get started working? I got a blind date tonight with someone I may marry. Yeah, okay. Uh, Rich, just sit here and you'll see how we write the show. All right. Let's get to work now. We have a lot of work to do today, and I don't want any horsing around. Do you understand? I understand. You don't want anything like this. We're way behind schedule. Right, Mr. Stengel. But you'd better let Hank Bauer here type. He types much faster than you do. Snap your service. Oh, right over here. Only five cents. Without the tip. But now I pay Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. He's paid Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah, all the day. Thank you very much. Keep the change. Oh, thanks. Hey, uh, I seen the show you fellas wrote last week. I liked it. Yeah, thank you. 
Nobody else in my family did, though. I guess they don't care for that kind of junk. But I like it. Hey, what's this? Next week's script, huh? Hey. Listen, you're not gonna write another silly show like you did two weeks ago, are you? You know, silly stuff and comes out in those silly outfits. It's no, we that's don't. silly. You don't have to do silly things like that. No. I hate that. I don't like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with me. I never put mustard on a cream cheese sandwich. No. You know what I mean? Because no, that's silly. That's really silly stuff. Yes. You know what I mean? Thank that's you very much. Thank you. No, that's really... no silly stuff. No. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, can we get to work, please? Oh, let's take a five-minute break first. You need a five-minute break, though. You just had an overnight break. Yeah, but I'm useless until I get my coffee down. Coffee? Now, look, we don't have time for a five-minute... Chief, minute... didn't you ever hear of a coffee break? Look, with me, it's a coffee break. With you, it's a milk and sugar break. We don't have time to take five minutes off. But, Mr. Stengel, the New York Yankees get the whole winter off. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take a five-minute break. Now, <laughs> uh, Rich, how you doing? Hello. Does he want to see all of us? Just me. All right, I'll be right in. Sturdy wants to see me. Swell. We'll just sit here and enjoy our coffee while you go get fired. Very funny. <laughs> Bet you. She's just kidding, Rich. Say, Rich, would you like to meet a big television star? Zorro? He's <laughs> like Zorro. Only he's a coward. Come on, Rich. <laughs> See me, Alan? Yes, I did. Who's that? Oh, I, I wanted you to meet him. Uh, not today, Rob. We won't need any kid actors till next week. I'm singing the Peter Pan medley next week. You don't understand. This isn't Look, a kid. Rob, we're pressed for time. Will you tell the boy to wait outside? Alan, this isn't a boy. I am so a boy. Tell him I'm a boy, Daddy. Yes, he's a boy. All right, so he's a boy. He's not a boy. <laughs> Alan, this is my son. Why did you say so? Hello, son. How are you? How come, Rob? Well, my wife, uh... Oh, oh, he was very anxious to meet you. I was not. <laughs> it's a comic. He was, huh? Uh, what do you want to see me about, Alan? Uh, you know the opening you wrote for this week's show? Yeah? It's no good. Rewrite it. Oh, I thought it was very good. I thought this was very funny. Would you want to do these jokes for 30 million people this Sunday? Oh, don't you like any of these? Oh, I liked them when I heard them on the Bob Hope Show. Now, wait a minute, Alan. We didn't steal these Rob, from Bob Hope. Rob, whatever the reason, rewrite it. Didn't you think this section was funny? About making the moon the 50th state? A flag with 49 stars and a, and a circle? <laughs> do you think it's funny? <laughs> Guess not. One of the writers thought it might work. Nothing here you want to use, huh? Yeah. You could leave the part at the beginning where I say, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. That was great. <laughs> the rest is junk. Junk, yes. Uh, we'll rewrite it this morning. Come on, Rich. Oh, by the way, Rob, no jokes about my nose this week. Okay? Yeah, no nose jokes. Come on, Rich. <laughs> Well, Rich, did you enjoy meeting Alan Sturdy? Did you write this junk, Daddy? This isn't junk. Mr. Sturdy said it was junk. Well, that's his opinion. I want to go home. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, Rich. Oh, this isn't junk. Daddy's a very good writer. Oh, my God. His buddy and Sally wrote this. No, they didn't. Oh, I wonder if I'm too old to start dental school. <laughs> Chief of a writing staff and as a writer of junk. I 
don't understand. Oh, Rob, I feel <clears throat> awful. I, I feel as though it was my fault. Oh, why should you feel that? Just because it was your idea? Just because I didn't want to and you insisted that I did? Don't be silly. Why should you feel it's your fault? <laughs> I don't blame you for feeling angry with me. Oh, I'm not really angry with you. If I didn't think it might work, I, I wouldn't have let you talk me into it. Believe me, darling, it's only a phase. You're right. Tomorrow he'll like me again. <laughs> if he doesn't like me, I'll, I'll buy him a pony. Or I'll belt him one. <laughs> No, he's getting his jacket. Well, how does he feel about his daddy this morning? I really don't know. Did he say anything? He asked if daddy could fix the car. Well, what did you say? I told him no. Ah. Well, you didn't want me to lie to him, did you? Of course lie. That's the only way to win his love back. Well, you know you don't mean that. Well, I... Shh. <laughs> Doesn't Daddy get a big hug and a kiss, too? Sure doesn't Daddy get one, too. Bye, Daddy. Oh, yes. I may have to buy that boy a sports car. <laughs> Make you laugh a lot? Yeah, a lot. Sometimes I show on my milk. <laughs> All right, children, into your classrooms. Your father's a pretty good poem writer, bitch. Yeah, pretty good poem writer. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh... Make a phone, Daddy. Oh, I <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, I'll try. I think I ought to try for the boy. Um, Jack and Jill went up the crumb to fetch a pail of roller. Jack probed that, and Ruth was hurt, and Jim came flivering. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's funny. Isn't that good? What does that mean, Daddy? <laughs>